Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Wednesday. Miss Kay just got home from work and we're going straight in the kitchen. How y'all doing today? Trying to give us a little daily bread. And I got a small haul, y'all. Yeah, it was small, a little small haul. Oh, oh, it's got 46%, good. So we're gonna do our small haul first. So I got my pans out. What y'all think I'm getting ready to make? Look. <laughs> Big Angie get ready to eat. So we're gonna start out with the small haul. I got some. This is some Havarti cheese slices. I'm off tomorrow. So I'm gonna be snacking. So I got me some little cheese slices, Havarti. I think these were $3.99. And these were two for six dollars. Oh, I did, that's right, I put the other one back. I got one in the refrigerator. This is some mozzarella cheese. And look what I got. Now these were two for 10. Turkey pepperoni and Genoa salami. So what I'm getting ready to make. <laughs> Y'all want me to know. So let me put these on the cart. Cause they will go down the house. And I'm going to look at the picture right instead of the bag of cheese. So that's one bag. So in the second bag, now this is the tick. I got me some pizza sauce, 149. I got me some anchovies. This is going on my pizza. I got me some olives. I'm going to take my time and cut them in half. Mm -hmm. Let me set it up for you, honey, Dick. Right there, and right there, anchovies. And remember in school, I don't know if y'all remember this, how we used to take French dressing and put it on that school pizza, them square pizzas. I used to love those pizzas and get some of that French dressing, the orange dressing to put on. So I'm gonna have this. And on the Tatitos, I'm going to rub some garlic and herb butter and put them in the oven. Okay, Ow. here to go. And here go the tortillas that I'm gonna be using. Well, what you call these? Flour tortillas, a family pack. I think it's like a 20 in here. I'm probably gonna do about six. So I'm putting all this on there. And I got me some crackers, the wheat thins to go with my, with my cheese. And then, you know, the rest of the leftover salami and pepperonis that I have from the pizzas. I, you know, make me some little cheese crackers and stuff. But y'all, this is gonna be the ticket. Oh, and I got me some more garlic salt. They didn't have the kind that I normally buy by, uh, I think it's by, uh, not McCormick. It's by Lairless. They didn't have none. So I, I got this. McCormick is pretty good. And this, that's what I need, the garlic salt, because I'm running low. I don't need this one yet. But this right here, mm-mm-mm. Miss Kay done found her some cookies. Some lemon sugar cookies. These are new by uh, Petridge Phone. And it's called a joke. I can't even say it. Oja. OJ. I don't know here. <laughs> See them? Ooh, 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 ooh. So I did get me some sweet, but it's no chocolate and it's not too bad. So that's going to be my little snack and gear over there. Let me separate this and load up the cart. And now we're ready to get into the daily bread. So I got a spoon, a knife, and the scissors to cut everything open. Put all this on the cart. And head on down the hall. I ain't even gonna waste no time. Okay. Now let me grab my other bag of cheese. Y'all know I'm gonna do a little video. Put this cheese in the picture right now. I didn't get too much. It was just a little light stuff on top, didn't it? Was my refrigerator open? Seemed like my refrigerator was open. I don't know. They might have come right here another refrigerator. Make sure it's fine. Yeah, it's working. Okay. And I'm so glad I put that other bag of cheese back because I had a bag. So this one, this is Monterey Jack and medium uh, sharp cheddar. So I'm going to put them two cheese on. So it's just going to be something simple and quick. You know, this can't don't feel like it. It's just a time consuming, putting everything together, taking your time and doing it right. 
All right, so let's get into the daily bread this morning. I hope y'all been having an amazing day. Today was kind of slow. It was it was calm. Everything was like calm today. Yeah, and it went by swiftly. Okay, now let's get into the daily bread. That's what I see. Yeah, I'm getting ready to relax, and I'm off tomorrow. So I'm going to try to do something productive tomorrow. Today is March the 20th, and this is coming out of Romans chapter 15, verse 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Hallelujah. That is true. You may be tempted to turn your back on those who seem weak, but we should not. For example, a team will work to support it weak its weakest member. So we should work to support those who are weak because it is what we are called to do as believers so that Christ may be revealed. When we help those who are weak, we should we should not do it for the recognition of our own strength. We should help others as Christ helped us. Amen. Dear God, when I am tempted to prove my own strength in light of someone else's weakness, help me to remember your sacrifice. Oh, Lord, you deserve all the glory, not me. Forgive me for being prideful. Help me to guide those who need who need it so that you may be glorified. As I grow closer to you, allow me to walk alongside younger believers and encourage them as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, that was a wonderful daily bread. God is the reason why I remain strong today. Uh-oh, I skipped Monday. What? On here? Uh-oh, let's go back and get that. Today is Wednesday. Mm-mm. I must have read it on the other phone. That's probably what it was. Okay, so this is today's. So this was Tuesday's. And so this is Monday's. Now, let's see. I didn't read it on here. Okay, this is coming out of Psalms 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear. Through the earth be moved, removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. God the Almighty does not leave the side of his children. If they love him, then his word or promise will never be broken. He failed not. He failed not Noah or Moses, and he fulfilled his prophecy to us by sending us the Messiah. The sea might swallow the mountains as it did in Noah's time, but all of his children will remain safe. And we'll see on the horizon the dove of peace extending out an olive branch to all who share in his covenant. Lord, my Father, who shed the light of divine grace upon all his followers, hear my prayer of wonder and love. For your presence stays with us, Lord, in a sacred promise extended to all who strive with you. Lead us not into fear and e- or even any doubt that we are lost or without your blessing, that we are lost without your blessing, your blessings. All this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'm caught up. All we need is Jesus. Yeah, I, has, I didn't do Monday on him. Ooh. Now I got to check that phone when I get off of here. So I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread and the small palm. Miss K going to take it light. You know, I got me some little wheat things, things to snack on. I still got these apples I got to get rid of. So in the morning, I might just do some oatmeal with some apples. Or I might just saute them and sprinkle some cinnamon on them. Put some butter in a pan, fry them and eat them. So we going to... Got to do some with those apples between probably the mall. All right. Well, I'll see y'all when I get a plate and get relaxed and get out of these clothes. And I'll talk to you later. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Whoosh.